<coughs> Hello there guys. Um I've got to apologize in advance <coughs> that this video may be a little bit lackluster in terms of speech. Um I'm not very well. Uh, I'm off work sick, but it'd be nice to get out of the house and do something. Um a chap contacted me through my my video explaining the operation of a Peerberg um with some issues he was having. Uh, I just wanted to address them. So, you'll have to excuse the shoddy camera work as well, I'm afraid. I am getting a camera soon, so you won't have to put up with it for much longer. Uh, anyway, first first off, and I will do a bit more of an in-depth video now that I've got a complete one, because all mine, as you've seen in the box, are, are stripped down. Um, this is complete. I've taken off the car. A friend gave me this because he hates them. <laughs> uh, but this has got a... Um, got a four point unit on it so that's how you tell the difference if you've never seen um, never seen one uh, that's how you tell if you've got a three or four point unit because the three point unit doesn't have this nut here sometimes they've got a casting for it but it's blanked off other times that's deleted completely the earlier ones just had a three point unit like that um, in fact I'll show you mine because I'm in the middle not today obviously because I'm not well but at the moment I'm currently doing a head rebuild on my my baby and uh, as you can see she's been running quite lean and that's not the carburetor's fault so I've got to investigate why um, that's what a standard three point unit would look like with no casting on you see the it's just blanked off but uh, anyway so, so that's your yeah that's your fourth point unit so that's we'll put big Harry over here for a minute I don't know where I fucking tell them when they're off the car. Because obviously I'm not carrying them when they're on the car. So this is a, this is our, I believe our stripped down one from the first video. Maybe. And so the first issue he presented to me was that the, the uh, choke mechanism seems awfully loose fitting. Um, that's normal. They they've got loads of they they're a real loose fit. Because it's all actuated by the spring, so they don't want, I guess they don't want there to be any resistance uh, mechanically anywhere else. So they've just made them a super loose fit so that the spring is entirely in control of that movement. So, something you'll notice if you have a look at your carburetor, mate, just there. That there is actually where the shaft that controls the choke flap roots. So, your your choke flap is controlled through the axle in the middle of that housing. Once it comes out of the housing at the other end, it then is mated up to another mechanism. I'm just trying to get it at a decent angle so you can see. Uh, can you see it moving? Not really. Sorry, it's not the best lighting situation, I know. Oh, oh we moved on to a winner there. Okay. So, if you have a look, can you see, just down in there, get my trusty pen, that part there is mated up to the shaft that operates your choke, and the reason for that is that when the car is on full choke, you guys must be feeling ill of me, once this is on full choke, like so, that lever is brought down into the path of the throttle body and the uh, throttle lever and the reason being that if you're on full choke and you need to use the throttle under that much fueling from the choke being on if you were to press that throttle down it would just bog down and either stall or just go hugely over rich but it wouldn't be a wouldn't be a good scene for anybody anyway so what that does is actually normal what what your carburetor is doing is actually normal because when you operate this throttle that just allows the choke flap to open a little and just keep the mixture balanced it just leans it off ever so slightly so you will get a bit of a a flop in your choke that's uh so what you've what you've spotted though i know it seems like it is a an issue because it's not common on um manual choke systems but that's um 
that's just the way they did it when they when they built the carburetor. So that's the first issue. <coughs> the second issue um, is so here's our full full uh, grande double tall and um, you have your choke cover now I don't I don't know from the video if it's that your choke is actually broken and it's your your fault finding to try and work out what's wrong with it or if it's that it works it's just that you're concerned about the the free play but just to show you um, there is a lot of slop in these uh, they're designed that way like I say to stop the spring from being under too much stress because it is only a little bimetallic spring now uh, I did another video of this but it was quite rambling and I was even more distracted I've got my head in the game now <laughs> um, I've decided to stop being a wimp um, so basically if you look at the choke cover from that angle that's what you'd have so there's the nut in here attached to it you've got the mounting for the bimetallic spring now that's what it looks like you'll have way more wines though it's actually more like that thing <laughs> on the end of that spring is a square well they've just, they've just bent the metal over and that's what grips onto the lever now a favourite if you find that your choke isn't operating and you've got this same movement as though it wasn't attached to anything is that they can for some reason and I don't know why they can ping off of the end of this lever um, and obviously they'll I mean your choke doesn't work so what you need to do is and I'm gonna now do a video now I've got a full Pierberg of, of a built-up one so you guys will have another another thing to see uh, so you've got three screws one there one under there this carburetor is disgusting I'm looking forward to rebuilding it that's for sure and one there now if you're just adjusting your choke you only need to slacken them off and then you can turn this the the stampings I said about see this one hasn't been lined up well it has been lined up but it's been lined up wrong because it's been done to those markings probably regardless of how the car ran and chances are that may be why they took it off the car and this is why I was saying about just adjusting it so that the car's happy um, right yeah so what you want to do if, if you're adjusting just loosen them and turn it you don't want to don't want to undo them all the way or it will jump off of that lever so if it has come off undo them completely and you can actually slide this off it comes off that's just a just a, a bracket um, you can slide that away and then what you want to do is get a flat-ended screwdriver you may may need to put the spring under some tension so what I usually do in that situation is I will turn the choke cover anti-clockwise get your flat-ended screwdriver slide it onto that finger and then turn it clockwise again give yourself a tip X mark if it's if it's running if it was running okay before it started playing up give yourself a tip X mark on the cover so you can put it back where it went and then it doesn't present more problems um, but yeah that's all you need to do um, is get your screwdriver down in there and just slide the spring back on and then push the cover back on so that you basically slightly pinching the screwdriver between the two covers and then draw the screwdriver out and it can't jump off again push it back on may take you a couple of goes the first time um, but that's that but don't worry about any slop there is just inherently in the design there's a lot of slop so I hope that's been helpful if you obviously if you've got any more questions please just chuck them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as I get them and uh, yeah, much appreciated that you guys are asking questions. It's nice. It's um, I'm really pleased to see that that video is helping people. That was, that's great. That's good news. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go and have a little lie down. I think. <laughs> so uh, have a cracking day, everybody, and I'll see you soon.